Think building a website for your TV repair shop is complicated? Think again. This video demonstrates how to use AI to create a custom, modern website in just a few clicks, and it won't cost you a dime. To keep things as simple as possible, I'll walk you through this entire process in four clear, beginner-friendly, actionable steps. First, we'll customize a ready-made prompt for your business. Second, we'll set up a web form so customers can email you. Third, you'll use AI to generate all the code for you, no experience needed. Finally, we'll upload your new site to tiny.host, which offers free hosting. But if you are too busy or want advanced custom features AI struggles to create, we offer services to do all this for you. We can create, host, and manage websites starting at just $20 per month. Now, without further ado, let's start with the prompt. First, we'll tell the AI to create a one-page website for our TV repair business, which for this example, we will call HD Helpers, and specify that we want all the code in a single file so it's easy for us to copy and paste. Next, we'll combine several instructions to ensure a high-quality result. We're asking for a complete, modern, professionally created, and SEO-friendly website that has at least seven to 10 sections. We'll also request micro-animations to make it look impressive and stand out. We will let the AI know that we will be using Web3 Forms so it can integrate the code into our website. I have added a placeholder in this template where we will copy and paste the code in the next step. Then we will let the AI know all the images we have. For this example, I only have one hero image, so we will tell it not to add any more as the AI sometimes tries to use non-existent images without this instruction. Finally, we'll give the AI a friendly message to surprise us. You can find this entire prompt we just built in the YouTube description. All right, let's get our access key and HTML code from Web3 Forms. First, head over to web3forms.com. Once you're there, click the Create Your Access Key button. Here, you'll need to enter your email address to receive the key. After typing in your email, go ahead and click the Create Access Key button. Okay, now scroll down the page and you'll find the HTML code we need. Let's copy this block of code. Now switch over to your prompt. Find the section where your form goes and paste the code right there. Next, we need to replace this placeholder with our actual access key. To get it, let's jump over to your email and open the new message from Web3 Forms. And there it is. As you can see, here's our access key. Just copy it and paste it back into your code. Okay, next up, we need the image for our hero section. I'll be using a free tool called Qune to create our image, and now I'll show you exactly how we do it. I have a prompt ready, which you can find in the description below. Feel free to use it or write your own. Once you've pasted in the prompt, just click the send button. As you can see, the AI has now given us a more detailed prompt to use. Go ahead and copy that new prompt and then click on image generation, and then paste the new prompt in the box. Here you can adjust the aspect ratio. I'm gonna select 16 by nine, which is perfect for a hero image, and click the button to generate the image. And there we go. Our hero image is ready. Just click the download button to save it. Of course, feel free to use your own images instead. Just make sure that your image file names match those in the prompt. Keep the names descriptive so the AI can easily match each photo to its correct file name. We have our prompt and hero image ready. Now let's use Google AI Studio to create the code for our website. Over on the white side, let's make sure we're using the latest model. For this, we'll select Gemini 2.5 Pro. Next, open your prepared prompt, go ahead and copy it, then paste it right in the main window in Google AI Studio. Just do a quick scroll to make sure you've copied the entire prompt from top to bottom. Now let's bring in our hero image. Simply drag and drop the hero image file directly into the prompt area. With our prompt and image loaded in, all that's left to do is hit the run button. And now we'll just give it a moment to process. This part can sometimes take a little while, so let's be patient. All right, Google Studio has given us the complete code for our website. Go ahead and click here to copy the code. Next, let's head over to the tiny.host website. You can find a link in the description below for easy access. Over on the right side of the page, find this icon and give it a click. Go ahead and paste your code right here, then click the continue button. Now we can give our project a link name. For this example, I'll type in custom dash name. Great, now let's drag and drop the image for our hero section. And now the final step, just click the publish button. And there you have it, our website has been successfully published. Now let's see what the AI has built for us on our new live site. It created a full screen hero image showcasing TV repair with a clear headline and a prominent get a free quote button. Below, our services are presented in a grid of four cards with icons and descriptive text. This is followed by YHD helpers, highlighting three key benefits in a list format next to an image. The process is then illustrated in a straightforward three-step timeline leading to what our clients say with a testimonial quote. Finally, a ready to fix your TV section with another image and button transitions to a frequently asked questions section, a get a free quote contact form, and a footer.
As you can see, AI doesn't always create the perfect website right away. Take a look here at the R Services section. We have two rows of cards. The first row has three, but the second row only has one. We can easily fix this by giving Google Studio a new prompt. You can either add two more cards or just remove the second row with the single card. In my prompt, I'm going to ask it to remove the single card with the title Connectivity Imports. Now let's hit the Run button and let the Google AI generate the code for us. And there it is. The Google AI has provided a new HTML code. Go ahead and copy the code and then let's head back over to tiny.host. First thing we need to do is delete the website we currently have published. After that, we'll just repeat the same process we used to publish our website earlier. We can reuse our original link name, custom name, since we just deleted it. Don't forget to include the images our website needs. Now just quick publish and let's check out our R services section. And there you have it. The AI made the exact edit we wanted.